It's Good Day New Mexico with Casey Messer. Joy Junction is the largest homeless shelter here in the state of New Mexico. They offer shelter to as many as 300 individuals a night. Now their primary focus is the family unit. They believe families who stay with them have been through enough and don't believe in splitting them up during their stay at Joy Junction. They offer a variety of programs and services at zero cost. And today they're here to discuss the misconceptions many people have about the homeless population. So here with more, Jeremy, Alma, and Kathy. Good morning, you three. Yeah. Thanks for having us. You got it. Now, a lot of people do have big misconceptions about the homeless, so talk about some of those. We the most the uh, most visible segments of the homeless are the panhandles you see on the street. And something I hear over and over and over again, they're lazy, hmm. and they can get back on their feet again if they want it. But there are a number of issues that prohibit them from doing that. One, of course, uh, that uh, Elmer can address here. What's the, what's the issue? Well, yeah, being homeless and you are on the street with all your belongings with you right. all the time, how you can, you know, find a job and you don't have, a, like, maybe they don't have a, a exact a food that they need to, to survive on a daily basis. So having Joy Junction, giving them a place to stay and a place to have a shower and right. dress up, so it will give them, you know, the opportunity to go there and find a job and somebody can hire them because they, they just got a good clean clothing right. and they, they have a, a clear mind because they will feed there three times a day. Oh, so wow. that's yeah. what Joy Junction do. And Kathy, why do you think people have so many misconceptions about the homeless? You know, I think that they're misinformed. I think that a lot of the population that we that we um, that we help suffer from mental illness, and mm -hmm. I think a lot of people look past that. They think, as Dr. Reynolds mentioned, that it's sheer laziness, and it's not. There are so many underlying issues that so many of us are just that we're not aware of. You know, and I think mental illness is one of them, and addiction certainly. Right. So well, let's look at a job also. You know, when any of us have to get a job, homeless or unhomed, mm -hmm. you know, the adrenaline begins right, to rise. Right. You're thinking, you get up in the morning, or maybe you've had a really hard night trying to sleep because you know the job yeah. interviews yeah. is is going to uh, happen. We just picture if you slept under the bridge at right. First and Gold or wherever, you know, and then you're thinking that you're a little bit smelly and mm. your clothing isn't real good. It magnifies the issues any of us feel when going to find a job. So for yeah. people to say they could, they could well, they yeah. could, but yeah. I believe up to, it's up to us as a responsible community mm -hmm. to do everything we can to empower the homeless to get back on their feet again. Right, and, and you started this in the 80s. It's, it's an amazing assistance that you provide, like you said, up to 300 people. Um, how else can the public help at Joy Junction? Well, they can come down and volunteer. Uh, share with us some of the things that folks can come when they come down to volunteer. So typically, Casey, what we like for people to do when they come down to volunteer is have a quick tour of the shelter so okay. they understand how we work, how we function. And what typically people do is serve a meal, but we are so excited about people getting creative with different yeah. ideas that they could come out to the shelter and, and offer our guests. You know, they might perhaps be able to do arts and crafts with the children, mm -hmm. maybe something specifically with the women. We invite new ideas. And for those who are interested, should check out our website at joyjunction.org, or they can call our volunteer line directly at 505-463-4818. Well, one thing they also do is they have a chance to come down and actually read a book or two to hmm. the kids. Oh, nice. Reading is yeah. really, really yeah. important for kids. Yeah. And then it also gives a chance for the adults to interact with these kids and their moms and dads. Yeah. And by so doing, they see, you know, uh, oftentimes the homeless are just like you and me. They've just had a lot of bad breaks in life yeah. or made a bad choice or two. And who among all of us here hasn't made a bad choice right. or two yeah. or three or four? You're right, yeah. yeah. Do you guys ever take donations, money, clothing, books, any of that? Is that welcome at Joy Junction? All of it. You okay. know what I like to say, Casey, is that anything that you can use at your house, we can use at ours. Okay. The only difference is that we have a much larger house. Right. Than most. <laughs> 300 people. That's a very large area. Yeah. So. Yeah. Kathy, Alma, Jeremy, thank you guys so much for your time. Again, for more information, you can go online. It's joyjunction.org or give them a call, 877-6967. When we come back.